Let's out. All units, EMP in transit. Starfish inbound, 400 knots. That baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air. Got one AA clear. You 
know that's not good enough. I can't risk an early strike. We only got one shot at this. You don't think I know that? Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah, after capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. 
Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Park's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to her family and her caskets in transit to London. We spoke in MI6. They're understandably displeased. We owe them one. Lazar Azale is recovering from his injuries in Tel Aviv. He'll return to the agency in good time. Pursuit of Perseus is personal for him now. What about the rest of the team? They got off Soloveski before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you are one of them. We think Perseus cut you out of the picture in Turkey. Adler found you still alive. Traps on his stopping in Duba. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down.
The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old one. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. You were put through the CIA's MK Ultra program, though. They gave you new memories, things constructed out of Adler's. It's fucked up. But they needed you to believe you were one of us. yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, come on, you've got a job to do. You've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell. I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light, Arsenal. We will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to find out who you really are, though. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Adler. Right. Yeah. We'll leave within the hour. We won't let the president down. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine, the Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Adler, no contact over here. 
place seems empty. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. Sure, you're not forgetting something, Bell. There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him. Fucking lied to us. That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus could detonate those nukes? I had no other choice but to trust you. What a waste. You actually could have done something with yourself, kid. Those nukes were for defense, not offense. You don't recognize the difference? I'd let you walk back to Perseus, but I think I'll spare you the regret instead. Apparently, we didn't do a good enough job. Time's up, kid. I guess I'll finish this job myself. You wanna load the body? Fuck if I care. Leave it for Perseus to find. Get Hudson on the horn. We gotta warn the president. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Nassim Javadi fell into CIA hands. He is far too soft. I will need someone to handle his erasure. It is a shame we lost Anton Volkov. He was our most valuable GDR asset. But perhaps with the fall of the West, it will not prove so great a blow. Helen Park perished in Cuba. She had been sniffing around the edges of our group for years. One less Western nuisance for us to deal with. The others, however, are still out there. I will finish them all off myself if I have to. With the West in chaos, our key agents within the United States are in place and ready for the next phase of our plan.
now that Europe is in disarray, our agents within their respective governments can help craft Europe's future. One completely aligned with the interests of the Soviet Union. My friend, we are just getting started. Coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you are one of them. We think Percy has cut you out of the picture in Turkey. Adler found you still alive. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Duba. This, you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solopetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. You were put through the CIA's MK Ultra program, Bell. They gave you new memories, things constructed out of Adler's. It's fucked up. But they needed you to believe you were one of us. Are your hands clean, Bell? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell. You've got Come a on, job. You've got a job to do. You've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. 
It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Green Fires, we will detonate them all from the safety of Sobolensky. This is your chance to find who you really are, Mel. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bill. Come on. You're still one of us. Adler. Right. We'll leave within the hour. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev, between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Adler, no contact over here. Place seems empty. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bill? There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We ain't seen anything on our side either. It's him! Fucking lied to us! That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere Russia so Perseus can detonate those nukes?
is it. Your friend went through here. He is not far. Come out and play. You are running out of time. And space. Cat becomes the mouse. Glad to see you still care. Mind giving me a light? You remember my face, don't you? Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold, but that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Ah. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Hmm, yet. For humanity. Their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done. Green-like nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javali. He fell into the hands of your former CIA friends. Kasim is too soft. I will need you to personally supervise his erasure. It is a shame you had to kill Anton Volkov. Was our most valuable GDR asset. 
But perhaps with the fall of the West, it will not prove so great a blow. You say that Helen Park perished in Cuba. She had been sniffing around the edges of our group for years. One less Western nuisance for us to deal with. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. With the West in chaos, our key agents within the United States are in place and ready for the next phase of our plan. Now that Europe is in disarray, our agents within their respective governments can help craft Europe's future. One completely aligned with the interests of the Soviet Union. My friend, we are just getting started. Have a good